Alright, Shalom, I want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and the highest honor to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakadash, double honors unto my elders and apostles, the great millstone, the men who were well, and to us is truth, <coughs> Salakia, peace and blessings be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, the true Israelites, the so-called Nikos, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, alright, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the, is the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, all right, the Lord and the Savior of Israel. All right, and Rechakotash is the volume of the book, The Spirit of Truth. All right, and Lord willing, the title of this exhortation of this video epistle will be Don't Forget the Wiles of Satan. All right, which I'm going to go, I'm going to go into that word, what that word means, the wiles. All right, um, and I'm going to go into it in the book of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, because, you know, being in this walk, we need to remember that we're in a constant a fight, man, a constant spiritual warfare, okay? We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, like it says in the book of Ephesians, okay? Um, let me see. I'm going to start off in Isaiah 59 and 15. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Now the point is that he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And that's just the fact that we have to live with. That's just the reality that us uh, believers have to deal with we have we have decided to depart from evil and then we have been made a prey by who satan man the spiritual demon satan all right we're already a prey unto esau edom the so-called white man his physical counterpart all right and why does this matter well we have to remember that you know all the different things that we go through whether it be you know it's all a spiritual battle it's always a mental battle whether it be your uh, personality defects that are trying to prevent you from serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai whether it be a spirit of laziness whether it be a, a, a stress depression anxieties different things you know some some uh, uh, there's believers out there that have uh, uh, you know these different uh, uh, you know personality defects man we all have personality defects you know as us as Israelites were being punished, we live out our judgment here on earth. Well, now that we've come into this truth, all right, the spiritual demon Satan is after us, man, to get us to what? Go back into the world and things like that. And what us as men of the Lord, we have to remember to not only ourselves fight, but to, to help others with their faith also, all right, to help others fight because we have to remember that that's what we're going through. We're going through a spiritual warfare until Yahweh Shai comes back and until we're changed, man, until then. We're in this spiritual fight, and we fight with the scriptures because that's our, our sword, all right? Hebrews 4 and 12. All right, this is um, Luke 22 and 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Now, the word there for sift, all right, is the uh, Greek word siniazo, which is to overthrow through in, which means to overthrow through inward agitation, which is exactly what us... And the truth go through on a daily basis, man. Satan tries to tempt you, man. He, he tries to get you to go off on the Sabbath, all right, to break it on purpose. Well, not so much on purpose, but he tries to get you to break the Sabbath, man. All right, trying to get you to not read, no, trying to get you not to pray, to try to get you to break your fasts, which are essentially breaking like a vow to the Lord, to get you to break your vows that you've made to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh things like that, man. Trying to get you to, uh, um, you know, cast off your integrity, trying to get you to cast off your faith, man, all right? These are the things that, these are the wiles of the devil, the wiles of Satan, man, the methods. And we'll get into that, Lord willing, all right, through the Spirit, man, because what? Those are the different things that Satan throws at you, man. He he tries to get you to do these things. The most important thing, or the most important thing that he's after, all right, is your faith, man. And the scriptures say to cast not off your confidence because it has a great recompense of reward. It says that in the book of Hebrews. You see? Let's see. Um... Yeah, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Now the Lord said this to Peter, all right, Simon Peter, all right, but what? We apply it to ourselves, man, because whatsoever things are written for time are written for our learning, all right, that we through patience uh, of the scriptures uh, and the comfort of the scriptures might have hope, man, which hope means confidence in the future, which is what we use the scriptures for, man. Peter was the head of the church. You don't think Satan tried to come and, and attack him? Well, guess what? Us as believers of Yahweh Shai, on a lower level, Satan's trying to attack us as well, man. Trying to overtake our faith. Trying to get us to cast off our confidence. All right? This is 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Now, when you go into that, basically, you know, being sober means to, to be cool, to be calm, and collected in spirit, man. All right? That's what it's talking about. 
you see, of course, we need to be physically sober, all right? We can't be drunkards, all right? We can't be doing those type of things all the time. But we also need to be, you also need to be level-headed, man. We need we need that balance. We need equity, all right? Which to, which means to be balanced, man. Not too high, not too low. You know, always in between, man. All right? Hot in the spirit, but mentally you got to be sound, man. And you can pray for that. You can pray for a sound mind. Matter of fact, in the scriptures it says in 2 Timothy's, uh, 1 and 7. Let me just grab it real quick for edification's sake, man. Take Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For the most high has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. All right. So we, we, we can pray for a sound mind, man. Because in this truth, you know, you go through stresses. You know, when you believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, and you learn, you begin to learn the fear of the Lord. It begins to actually put a fear within you that you don't want to. Uh, uh, you don't want that fear to cradle you up into a corner. You want that fear to motivate you to do the right thing. That's what it's there for. You see, the scriptures say in Job twenty eight twenty eight that the fear of the Lord that is wisdom. We want that fear of the Lord to motivate us to do the right thing, man. All right. That's what we want it to do. We don't want it to put us in a corner, man. All right? What else? It says, um, yeah, so basically, you know, being sober means to be cool, calm, and in spirit, man. All right? Which is what we want to be, level-headed. All right? Level-headed and, and within the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushat. Be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh the ball, seeking whom he may devour. Right? So we, we are on a, uh, you know, and applying that to the spiritual demon Satan, man. You know, he, he's on a prowl. To get you to cast off your faith at every corner, all right. Not to be, not to put you in a in a state of paranoia, or anything like that. But just to remember that he's out there, man. All right, to push your buttons, all right, through inward agitation, like we read in uh, uh, Luke. Okay, when you go into uh, sift, all right, he's trying to get you out of the truth, man. He's trying to root you out. You gotta hold on, man. Fight the good fight of faith, like the scriptures say. You see, it says. Uh, seeking whom he may devour, right? You know, because, hey, man, Satan's out here, man. All right, trying to get us all to, to, to go off. Trying to get us all to cast off our faith. It's a part of the battle. Truthfully, it's what strengthens us. All right? Now, let me see. <clears throat> but nevertheless, our hope is in the scriptures. And our hope is in the things written uh, uh, for those that fear Yahweh Shem Shai. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Now, off break, you've got to notice it says... To be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Because it's not of ourselves that we get through these things. It's not of your own strength and will that you made a video, that you read, that you prayed, that you fasted. It was all ultimately the Lord working that within you. Like it says in First John, the book of First John, I believe the second chapter. Alright, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it says, Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now that word wiles is methodia, methodia, I believe is how you pronounce it, which talks about the different uh, uh, ways that the second, the the different trickeries and crafts uh, of Satan. I used to like it, got a little tongue tied, you know, dealing with these different languages and such. But nonetheless, the different tactics and, and the craft and the trickery, the trickery of Satan, man, uh, he tries to come at us, man. He has these different ways to to trick us. All right. You know, these demons, these demons are tricky. You know, Satan's, uh, uh, you know, his cronies, man, they, they out here, man, to poke at you. They poke at you all day long, man. You know, they, they poke at you and you think it's, you You know, you think you're having a battle with yourself. You know, if you, truth be told, in this truth, you're at war with yourself. You see, that's the, you know, we're in this good fight of faith because ultimately that, that's our battle, all right? We're not like the, the Zillots. We're not out here fighting a physical battle. We're out here fighting a spiritual battle, all right? And the main thing the main war is within yourself, man. The war is within your heart. You're at war with yourself. It's it's your spirit versus your flesh. The demons have access to your flesh to mess with you, to poke at you, to poke fun at you, give you ailments, all right? To poke at your mind, to make you, you know, remember things that you might have did in the world. Try to make you think that you're not worthy of serving the Lord. All these different things, man. That's, that's all Satan, man. You got to remember the, the, the beautiful things, man. You got to remember that the Lord called you into this, man. You got to remember that it wasn't no accident, that it wasn't no coincidence. This is the way that you fight against these wiles of the devil. That's why I'm mentioning these things, man. It's how you fight against these evil spirits that are trying to overtake your mind, man. All right? Which is something that we ought to pray over as well because the Lord's not going to let us fall and we believe that. So we put on the whole armor to uh, to stand against those methods of Satan, man, against the wiles of Satan. It says, "For we, verse twelve, for we wrestle not." Back in Ephesians six, for we wrestle not 
against flesh and blood, but against principalities, which are, you know, evil spirits, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's exactly who our battle is against, man. We're fighting against uh, 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 spiritual wickedness in high places, man. We're fighting these different enchantments that come around during the ho the, the so-called holiday season, during, uh, you know, Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving time. Amen. That's when the most incantations come out in these these these. And the elites, you know, they 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 put curses on us, man. All right, and things like that. Those things they still they still poke at our spirit, believe it or not. <laughs> All right, it says, "Wherefore I take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand." All right, the main thing that you pick up is the scripts, and you believe in them. All right. The scriptures say that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, but the righteous runneth into it and is saved. That's the number one thing you should be running to on a daily basis, man. And I'm saying this from experience because through the Spirit, I made this video before when I was on a lower level of faith. And I'm remaking it now, reaching a new level, man. All right. To exhort you, Akim, man. Because it only gets harder. Okay. Demons get stronger. But your faith grows too, man. You get, you're stronger too. You see? That's why I made this, uh, I might call it part two, man, the Don't Forget the Wiles of Satan, uh, part two. Because I know I've made it through before through the Spirit, man, and I'm just making it through uh, through the Spirit, man, as a, a man uh, in victory, man. All right? Being able to fight against these wiles of the devil through the scriptures of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh through the name, most important, through the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. You know, and I also put this out there for the new believers because... To, 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 to give a testimony on the names because I can say with full confidence, humility, and sincerity that Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai are, are the names that got me out of uh, 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 ruts, or, you know, rants, uh, or, or, you know, situations, man. Those names deliver, have delivered me from, literally delivered me from, from death, man. Those names have delivered me from the wiles of Satan, man. Those names have delivered me from evil people that have demons on them uh, trying to vex my spirit, man. Alright, you have to believe on those names, man. Okay? Not to switch topics too much, but it all ties into the point. Because you can only defeat these wiles of the devil through the names. It, it starts with the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, um, Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, Taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right. Faith in what, man? The names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's that's where it all begins, man. Alright? Because you, you can have faith in the scriptures all day long, but what ultimately delivers you at the end of the day is the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Calling upon those names to get over these different attacks, man. To get over the wilds of Satan, man. Alright? And I'm going to end it with this one. That's a, you know, it's a good exhortation to end it. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 2 verse 9. Ye that fear the Lord. That goes for us, man. We fear you how about Shemiel Shai. That's why we make these videos. So we go out to camp. So we read. That's why we pray. That's why we fast. That's why we care. Because we fear the Lord. Hope for good. So we have to hope for good. And for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old. And see. Did any ever trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Hey, there's none, man. He ain't never forsook anybody that, that believed on him, man. All right? He has, and he hasn't despised those that called upon him. All right? So what? Our job is to, to overcome these wiles of Satan through the spirit, the power, and the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Lord willing, this was exhorting and edifying. You know, Abba Ratzazah stayed on topic with it, man. Lord willing, you were exhorted through the spirit. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechak Wadash. All right, I want to give a double honor to my elders and apostles, great millstone, and well, and it's all just truth, peace, and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.